Over the past couple of years during the holidays, it has been giving us a Christmas theme for our most sneaker. And this year we again see another Grinch themed one. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. What's up everyone? Aloha, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Steven and today I'll be reviewing the new Adidas Forum Low Grinch. So last year we were given these all green Grinch themed sneakers. Again, these are Adidas Forum Low. This year we have three new iterations. We have one based off of the Dog Max, one off the Cine Lou, and of course the Grinch himself. If you want a full backstory of the Grinch, you can watch my video from last year where I reviewed the green ones. But a short summary will be is we have a grumpy creature named the Grinch who hates Christmas. I hate Christmas! And in the end of the story, he has a change of heart. Alright, so that out of the way, let's dive right into the sneakers. But as always, as first, let's take a look at the box. So this is the same box as last year. We have this pull-up box and this light red color all around. On the top, we have a picture of the Grinch's hand owning a red ornament. And in the middle, we have the Venus Chef logo in black. On the sides, we have a picture of the Grinch peeking. In the front and on the back, we have the Adidas logo in black. And next up, we have the Grinch logo with his eyes. The official name of these sneakers are Forum Low the Grinch. And the official colorway of this is called Cream White Collegiate Red Solar Slime. All right, so as I mentioned, this is a pull-up box. So after pulling out the inner portion, first thing we see are an extra set of insoles. See, these are blue foam insoles with the olive, I say olive green lining on top. So on the left insole, we have a picture of the Grinch in his Santa costume blowing into a horn with the words Merry Christmas. And then the heel, we have the Trefo logo in black. On the right side, there's no picture here, but on the heel, we have, again, the Grinch logo with his eyes. And same paper as last year, we have the Grinch in two different pictures. We have him Again, in the Santa costume where he looks evil, or I say grinning evilly. And then the other ones is where he's holding a present, just smiling. All right, so diving right into the details of the sneaker style with the upper, we have this predominantly smooth leather upper. Starting with the toe box, we have in this cream white color with preferences for breathability. Surrounding the edge of the toe box, we have this mud guard, also in cream white. We also have the leather overlay with a toe box meets the tongue, so we have the vamp area as well as the eye stays also in this cream white leather. On the narrow side, we also have the X details overlay on the midfoot where it meets the strap. And on the back, we again have the overlay also in cream white. And just on the lateral side, we have the Adidas Trefo logo in this olive green color. Again, on the lateral side, we have the three stripes in this smooth leather finish in red. And in between that, we see more of that cream white leather with preparations for breathability. On the middle side, we have something different. We have the three stripes in this hairy suede finish. And instead of red, we have in this light olive green. And again, in between that, we have more of that cream white leather with preparations for breathability. Now, talking about the quality on this leather, I say it's okay. I wish it was actually better compared to the ones that I have or the four maybe fours that I've gotten in the past over the past couple years for example we have the Orbit Grays or the Crew Greens I feel like with those the leather was actually really good really soft and buttery I'm not saying that these are not soft they are soft but not as soft as those other ones at first I didn't really notice the red and green details of the stripes but after looking at the shoe more I actually like it you know it gives it like a really nice Christmas vibe my apologies guys, I just remember these aren't listed as the 484s. They are listed as just the forums. Not to be confused with the modern day forums where Adidas has it where you can remove the strap. With this one, you cannot remove the strap. And also on those, the toe box and also the vampire looks a little bit different. The feel of it is actually different too. It is a bit more narrow. Whereas this one it has pretty much the same exact construction as the 484s, same fit too. So I think with the 84s, I think they saved the better leather quality for the 84s even though these look the exact same thing. But like I said, it is what it is. Now, continuing on with the upper and the ankle collar area and also this little cutout here, we have it in this hairy suede and a light olive green color. Now for the ankle strap, we also have it in this cream white color. And in the middle, we have this little cutout in neon green with the Adidas logo. Or it just, it just says Adidas in black. And the strap hooks onto this red hook on the middle side. 
Some people don't like the strap. Me personally, I do like the strap. Kind of gives like a nice classic look. So originally these were a basketball sneaker when the form first released. So the ankle strap was supposed to give more ankle security because the creator of the sneaker, he found that the weakest point was actually the ankle. So this was supposed to give more stability and support for the ankles. Moving on towards the tongue, we have this hairy suede tongue and this light olive green color. Going up towards the top, we have the tongue tag and this yellow green color. And on just on the right side, we have a picture of the Grinch smiling with the Santa Claus hat. And the edges of the tongue are in this dark olive green color. The back side of this tongue, it just has the Trevfo logo. Can't really see it, but it's in the same color as the tongue itself, or the tongue tag, I mean. Now on the left sneaker, we have it in this cream white color for the tongue tag. And then we have the Adidas and Trevfo logo in red. On the back side of that as well, we again see the Trevfo logo in red. Forgot to mention, so right out of the box, the left sneaker actually has a bag full of these charms or lace dupe brace for the laces. So these are pretty much the same exact ones as the ones we got from last year. We have some presents, the Grinch wearing the Santa Claus hat, so two different versions. We have him where he's kind of smiling, another one where he kind of looks mad. What no one's missing are his dog Max. I think they probably have those just for the Max iteration of the form lows. And you also have this nice little red ornament. So on one side we have the words the Grinch in white, and the other side with the Gizzard Shuffle in white. And also, they also come with. Oh, actually, this year they don't have it. Usually, it comes with a little booklet that shows the text specs of the forms. Not too sure why they didn't do it this year. Anyways. So the tongue is finished off with these cream white laces and the aglets are actually in red and it says the Grinch in black. You do have the option of two more other laces as well. So we have it in red with the aglets in light green or I say yellow green with the Grinch in black. And then these again yellow green laces or neon green with the aglets also in olive green with the words the Grinch. Not too sure what color to go with. Last year, since they were all green, I went with all red just to give it more pop color. But this one, not too sure. Maybe just go with red again or more green. I'm probably just gonna go with red just because the red kind of gives it more of a Christmas feel. Oh, one more thing. So both the left and the right, they already come with one charm or lace braid attached and it's just a heart where it says three times. So this is going back to the Grinch where his heart grew three sizes that day. That's what it says in the story. That the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. So his heart was really small and then after having you know the feel of Christmas his heart grew three sizes. So that's what this charm is supposed to depict. Moving on towards the inside of the sneaker, take a look at the sock liner. We have this fabric sock liner in olive green. And also behind the tongue, we'll see more of the olive green fabric. Take a look at the insoles. So we have blue foam insoles again as well, but this time, the one inside of the sneakers, we have it in a cream white nylon lining. So for the right side, in the heel, we have a picture of the Grinch wearing a Santa hat, smiling. On the left side, we have the Grinch with no hat and he looks really mad. Sitting on top of the midsole, we have this red TPU heel contour. So starting on the lateral side on the midfoot, wrapping around the heel. Again, stopping along the midfoot on the middle side. So the purpose of this heel contour is just for heel stabilization. The whole upper of the sneaker sits on top of this cream white rubber cupsole. And within the cupsole, we have EVA foam for cushioning. Just on the lateral side, we have the Adidas and Chef logo in cream white. Now on the middle side, you couple in between the rear foot and the forefoot, we have this exposed EVA foam wrapped in red Dillinger web. So this is supposed to be used for shock absorption. As I mentioned before, this was a basketball sneaker, so as your foot strikes the ground, the foam was going to expand and the Dillinger web is supposed to contain that expansion. So all in all, it's just for absorbing the shock. Flipping up towards the bottom of the sneaker, we have this neon green and yellow green rubber outsole with the suction cup traction pattern. And within the suction cup, we have the Adidas Trifle logo. 
And then we also have the circular pivot point in red. Now it comes to sizing, I say go true to size. And if you're like me, someone has feet on the wider side, I would still recommend going true to size. These are wide foot friendly, so they do have a little bit of room on the toe box as well as the midfoot. Not as narrow compared to other sneakers, for example, like Jordan 1s or even the modern day forums where you can move the straps. With this one, I say go true to size. All in all, I really like the sneaker. I think this is really dope. Also because The Grinch happens to be my favorite Christmas movie and favorite Christmas character. So I am really stoked to have these in my collection. Now I'm not too sure which ones I like more. These or the actual Grinches that came up from last year. Well, they're both Grinches, but you know, these look more like the Grinches because of the hairy suede. Um, not too sure. I guess if I had to pick one, I'd go with these just because it is something different compared to just smooth leather. The hairy suede just gives it that, that like Grinch feel. Now with that out of the way, it's the design, what they look like on feet. All right, everyone, that's it in this video. Thank you all for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of these sneakers and how do you feel about them compared to last year's iteration with the Harry Suede? And did you cop these or did you also cop the Max or the Cindy Luhus? And if you guys liked the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you guys haven't, hit subscribe. It helps me grow my channel. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification alert so you don't miss another video. I'll see you guys next time. Shoots and aloha. Mele kalikimaka and haoli makahiki ho.